I've lost the plot. Huh? I'm not too sure. Oh God, start my up. video um this is sort of a bit of a uh update video shall we say uh sort of what's been going on with me for the like the past year because i know that a few of you guys have had questions and a few of you guys have noticed a few things on my social medias and all that sort of jazz uh, it's gonna take me about an hour to put out of here now because pulling out of my work is an absolute pain in the fucking ass um yeah so i know that you guys have a few questions uh regarding me and I know that you know a few of you guys notice a few changes on my social medias and stuff like that uh, especially those of you that know me personally um, so I just sort of want to go over what's been going on for like the past year with me um, because you know some people probably got the impression I've lost a plot or something like that I don't know um, so so yeah it all sort of started on the first lockdown, um, when I lost my first girlfriend, the you know the one that uh, started this channel with me, um, it sort of all started when I lost there, uh, lost her, sort of you know all the way back there. Um, obviously, that was a big change for me, positive change, should I say? Um, and um, yeah, I'm quite glad that did happen. So nothing really concerning there. Um, then obviously, you know, I got the Audi, I got with another partner, um, who, you know, at the time I thought was the one, um, and ended up going completely tits up. Oh, I've got a gap in the traffic. Go, 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 go. Almost got taken out by Frius. Fucking hate pulling out of there. Um, which, yeah, you know, I thought she was the one at the time. Uh, turns out to be she wasn't. Um, yeah, I'm not going into detail with that. You don't need to know that side of stuff. Um, and then after that, I just sort of, I, I, I lost my mind, never to say the least. I lost my mind. Um, I thought, screw it, I'm not going to bother with relationships. You know, I'll go on Tinder, have a bit of fun, uh, you know, shit like that. Um, you know, just, I, I, I totally changed sort of my attitude with everything. I was like, you know, I want to do what I want to do, want to meet new people, do stuff like that. You know, have a bit of a Tinder fun if that's what you want to call it. You know, ju I just totally lost my mind. Um, focus more attention, obviously, on the Yaris as well, which was a good thing. Um, but you know, other than that, I just completely lost my mind. Uh, just wanted to do stuff that I never thought I'd ever want to do. Um, stuff like that. Don't worry, no drugs or anything like that was involved because I'm not that sort of, you know, I'm not that sort of person. But you know, I just sort of went a bit AWOL. Um, so I joined the world of Tinder again, as I said, and um, obviously ended up getting with someone else uh, quite soon after breaking up with someone, which wasn't a smart idea, uh, and nor was the person I actually got with a smart idea either. Uh, seemed all right at the time. Uh, this is when I had the child seat in the Audi. Seemed all right at the time, and quickly hit rock bottom, and um, and yeah. Uh, it wasn't a move I was best impressed with, uh, <laughs> let's just say that. And it didn't last very long either, which is also a good thing. Talio, motherfucker. It's one of my mates. Um, so, so yeah, after that, I was like, you all know what? I'm done with relationships. It obviously ain't working for me at the moment. I'm fed up. I want to focus my time on my car, going out with friends and doing stuff that I truly wanted to do. Not anything stupid. I wanted to sort of regain some dignity shall we say um, so that's what I'd done went out with my friends enjoyed my time went out in this went out in the Audi you know just just enjoyed myself for a change and um, and yeah a few days after that happened I met Chloe <laughs> um, so what started off as um, 
So I started off as just a casual trip to a shopping centre, Blue Water to be precise, uh, to get some new trainers with my, I think it was birthday money. Um, ended up me essentially bringing home another girlfriend as well. <laughs> Um, that was quite interesting how that all started. If you if you guys want to hear that story, then let me know down below. I might release it to you if it's obviously all right with the missus. But I'm not going to go into detail what happened there. Um, but yeah, that's that's how me and Chloe met. Um, we wasn't official for a while though because not there wasn't any particular reason. We just wasn't official for a while. Um, but yeah, that was the first instance of which me and Chloe met, and uh, and yeah. That's when I started regaining myself again, shall we say. Um, but yeah, sort of, I brushed a lot of things to the side. Um, you know, I've had quite a, I had quite a hectic time. Uh, obviously, not exactly being a player, but it sort of comes across that way, which I'm not really best impressed with, because again, that is not me. Um, but you know, I... I, I had a few things I wasn't impressed with and sort of semi did lose the plot. Um, obviously I had people asking me what was going on and stuff like that and at the time I just thought I was happy when really I fucking wasn't. Um, so yeah, that sort of all happened. Um, then obviously like I said, met Chloe and um, I hate traffic. I hate rush hour traffic. Why does five o'clock always have to be the bollock time to get anywhere? Um, yeah, met Chloe, and uh, that's when things started getting better. Um, now, I'm going to chuck a bit of a side note here at this specific point. Um, nothing to do with relationships, cars, or anything like that, but work at the time. Um, so at this sort of time, work was going down the pan for me at my old job. Um, again, not going to go into too much detail because, well, at the end of the day, it's it's business stuff. It's it's not confidential information, but it is confidential information if that makes sense. Because I shouldn't really be spreading rumours and talking about stuff like that. But all of it was work started going down the drain, uh, which put me mentally in a really bad place. Again, um, just as I thought stuff was getting better, it's um, yeah put me in a mentally bad spot. Um, so yeah, I had stuff going on with work. Um, work was going down the drain with me. My mental health was going down the drain. Everything was just crashing down and the only positive thing that was around was was Chloe, even though we wasn't together. Um, so, so, so yeah. Um, sorry, I was focusing on something then. Um, so yeah. Uh, you know, things started going down the drain, but I tried to remain positive, try to remain strong, and try to really focus on myself and my happiness. Um, carried on doing work, obviously made it official with Chloe, all that sort of stuff. And um, and then, yeah, flipping out. We've, I've gone through this video quicker than I thought I was going to. Um, and then obviously came the time of which I was signed off work. Um, which was relatively recently, if you watch my videos back to when I had the Beamer, that was quite a recent thing. Um, so basically with the Beamer, I bought the Beamer, owned it for about a month, started working on it like I planned to, and then got signed off work. Uh, so I had to sell it after about a month, month and a half of, of, of me owning it, which wasn't really ideal, but was ideal at the same time, because I bit off a bit more than what I could chew with the Beamer. Uh, don't get me wrong, it wasn't all bad, I could have sorted it all out, but with that situation as well, I was like, nah, gotta call it quits. Uh, so obviously the Beamer went up for sale. I was signed off of work. I was signed off of work for about a month, month and a half before going back into work. Um, which case I went into work and handed my notice straight in uh, because I had been accepted because whilst I was off ill, I was focusing on my happiness, focusing on myself. I shut everyone out of my life, wasn't going out, nothing i just shut everyone and everything out of my life just focused on me my family and chloe that was it there was that they was the only people in my life um yeah so uh so yeah i hit total rock bottom went back into work um handed in my resignation straight away near enough because i i was you know whilst i was off ill I was focusing on my happiness, focusing on myself, 
and happiness was I needed to get out of work. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, I focused on doing that and um, landed myself the job that I'm at now, the one that I've literally just left, and um, and yeah, here I am, a lot happier, a lot more of a better position, and uh, starting to regain a bit of dignity. But whilst I was off, like I said, I shut everyone out, didn't do anything. You know, I just, I hit complete and utter rock bottom. I was having anxiety attacks, depressed, all that sort of stuff. And I hate crying sob stories, especially on camera and stuff like that. But, you know, I know that some of you guys have had questions and some of you guys have been wondering what's been going on with me, why have I been diving in and out of relationships, all this sort of stuff. Yeah, I lost the plot. <laughs> I, lost, I let myself go. I feel bad for doing it, but like I've said, I am picking myself back up now. I'm in a job that I'm a lot happier in, a lot more uh, interesting to me as well, because I'm actually in the automotive industry now, which I enjoy. Um, but it, you know, it's a footstep in the right direction at least, which you know I'm really happy about. And um, and yeah, so. I'm in a lot more of a better place now, that's why I've started recording again. Um, oh yeah, going back on to recording with YouTube and stuff like that as well. Why was my recording all over the place? Obviously I was quite consistent uh, a while ago and it sort of dropped. Uh, that was partly down to what I discussed about work and being depressed and uh, pulling some moves that I didn't want to pull. Um, and then when I got with Chloe, I was out with her a lot, doing a lot of things. We, I mean, we essentially live together. Um, we've been together for nearly five months now, and we've spent one day apart in that entire time. Uh, so, you know, I've been doing a lot of things, um, focusing on myself an awful lot, which has been with the help of Chloe as well. Um, oh, there's a space. There's a space. This is a rarity for my road too, especially on a Friday with two pubs down it. Um... Yeah, Yeah. so I was focusing on myself, I was with Chloe a lot, um, when I got with Chloe she was actually in the process of moving out into her own place, so um, you know, I was helping her move and stuff like that and I just near enough focused on adult things more than hobbies and stuff that makes me happy. Um, and. Yeah, that's why my recording went all over the place. Um, I was barely ever at home. I've not really been properly at home till re till relatively recently for about three and a half, four months. Um, so yeah, that's sort of what's gone on with me for the past year. A very brief rundown of it all. Um, why you guys have noticed changes and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Hope that answers some of your guys' questions or, and stuff like that because, like I said, I know that people have came to me before asking me what's going on and you know where, where's the Yaris gone? What you know? What's my motive with stuff? I haven't been in the right mindset, um, especially over the past sort of seven or eight months. A lot had gone on with me, um, and it had put me in a really mentally shit place. Um, and I was just trying to. I was essentially fighting with mental health. Um, which I don't like, and to anyone that's got mental health issues out there, like I envy you guys as well. It's it's not a nice place to be. But I was essentially for about eight months at least. Um, I was fighting with mental health. I had loads of stuff going on, and I I had lost the plot pretty much. Um, tried to be happy, pretended to be happy, told everyone I was fine when I wasn't. Um, but with all of that said. I'm in a lot more of a better place now. I'm smiling a lot more. Um, I'm happy. You know, things are finally falling into place with me as well. Uh, the past, Christ, past couple of months have actually been, they've been what I've needed and it's been a huge step in the right direction. So, um, YouTube videos should be coming back pretty much permanently now and uh, all stuff like that. And, yeah. Yes, I think that's about it. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, like I always say, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
Uh, I do apologise, it was a bit of an update, ranty, rambly sort of video. I do really apologise about that. Um, if you guys obviously wasn't interested in it, then I, I assume you haven't made it to this stage. If you guys were interested in it, then thank you for hearing me out, and hopefully that sort of gives you a bit of an insight as to what's been going on. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys ever so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there, everybody, and I'll catch you soon.